السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين So uh, we are now officially in the fall and uh, this is that time uh, when we start if you like our academic year uh, inshallah we will be uh, discussing para 28 okay and uh, that starts with with surah qad sami'a or al mujadila qad sami'a allah qawla allati tujadiluka fi zawjiha and uh, as you can see uh, uh, what shakil is sharing uh, with us uh, the uh, the the nine surahs that you see in surah uh, in uh, in para 28 but i uh, followed uh, their uh, uh, history of revelation okay to and came up with uh, uh, with this order so we will be discussing them in in that order and again uh, uh, the the reason behind uh, uh, the, uh, discussing these constructs uh, in, in, in this order and uh, uh, their order, if you like, of revelation, okay, uh, hopefully that will help us, okay, to see the, the process itself, okay, that uh, the revelation or Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam followed, guided by, by the revelation to uh, address the different um, uh, issues facing this newly born uh, uh, society uh, uh, on the foundation of a new set of values and, and virtues. And we have seen um, um, uh, in Surah uh, uh, Al-Hujurat, the last Surah that we discussed together, and I think it was a, a very good uh, a way of, uh, uh, or a, it's a good order because in, in that surah we saw how, um, how um, what really is needed to protect the fabric uh, of, uh, of the society and on uh, what is the foundation of, of, of this newly born society, okay? And um, uh, the fact that uh, this uh, society came together uh, on the basis of their common belief, okay, uh, uh, doesn't mean that they are not really going to have issues among themselves, uh, uh, um, among their uh, d different really tribes and affiliations, and also with the um, uh, external world, okay. So how, again, to uh, uh, what are really the preemptive measures needed in order really to protect the fabric of the uh, of the society? So um, uh, when um, just really like um, a um, uh, uh, cursory look at the nine uh, constructs of this para, um, ba basically all, all of them have been revealed in Medina. And uh, again, that, that, that will, uh, it's a challenge for us, all of us, because uh, now we are going really to see uh, the applications, the real issues, okay, and how to approach these uh, uh, issues and these are challenges, okay, and how, uh, 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 what was really the Quranic approach to all all these, and and that will uh, uh, put all of us before a very important challenge: how to uh, bring these uh, approaches, these solutions, to our own time and age, what, how they can help us today the same way they helped that society at, at that time and 
every time really in between. Okay, as long as we uh, look at Quran as the reference for the direction and the reference of the meaning, okay, because we are, we are all searching for a meaning. What, what does that really mean? Uh, uh, every time we are really facing a, a new situation, we, we ask, what does that really uh, 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 new situation mean to us? And so we need a reference that will help us Okay, to to so to 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 understand what is happening, and really the the uh, when we talk about the reference doesn't mean that uh, that we we have to to close our our minds and and put a lock on our reason. No, no, no. We are asking the reason to work under the guidance of the reference. Very important because people may say, okay. Oh, then you don't need the, uh, the, our minds to to work. Just look at at this reference and tell you, no, no, you can you cannot deal with that reference without really <laughs> utilizing all your uh, faculties, intellectual faculties. The same way, when okay, take the universe. Okay, the universe is the reference for our actions. Okay, but does not mean that. I mean, use your reasoning to speculate, and you may be right or you may be wrong. Or to the same issue, you may find several really like, I, I mean, interpretations and uh, uh, understanding who is right, who is wrong. But when you have the universe as the reference to validate as a, as I call it, the larger laboratory to validate what you have come up with your own intellectual faculties. Okay, what whatever the universe endorses and agrees upon, it becomes really the right thing. And this is what constitutes what we call today the scientific uh, uh, approach, okay? Uh, uh, the scientific methodology. Scientific methodology, it means that you are trying to see if what you come out with, again, by, by your reasoning, is validated by the universe. And we gave in the past several uh, 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 examples, but today we can apply it to the. Uh, we were talking earlier about a vaccine for uh, for coronavirus. Okay, and okay, you are really using your uh, uh, reasoning. You are using everything like to find out what is really the best uh, uh, vaccine, but. Even if you have it, nobody will accept it unless they see the data, okay, uh, to support that this vaccine is safe and also it is effective. And how we, we do that, you need to uh, a very large, okay, uh, 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 a study that uh, where you enroll thousands of, of people, and some of them you give them the vaccine, and another one, uh, a placebo, and in, in, in a place where the disease is prevalent, okay? Because if there is no disease, you cannot know if the vaccine is working or not. So this is why one company decided to do it in UK as the first place, because their numbers are rising, and so that would be a an optimal uh, setting to, to do the test. So what I am trying to say here, okay, all these clinical trials, what do they really mean? At the end of the day, these clinical trials mean that you are asking the universe, okay, to validate what you have really 
come up with using your reasoning. Okay, so that's, and the same thing. These issues that we are facing, that we are going to face in the future, okay, we, we, we are asking about their meaning, what direction we should take. So I need the reference, but I cannot really, uh, uh, the, 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 um, uh, the reference Quran in this situation will not help me unless really I ask the right question. And I am using my reasoning all the time, but guided by, by the reference. You know, in Arabic, mind is aql. This is this faculty, uh, this function of our uh, brain. Uh, you see, so we, we uh, it's called aql. Imam Ali, radiallahu anhu, wa karram Allah wajah, put it very beautifully. He said, aql aqlaka. Even your mind needs something higher than it to, to control its function. Otherwise, you may go in so many directions and you will not know what is right and what is really wrong. And this is why we need the reference. Okay, and as I said, these struct, uh, constructs, okay, these surahs were revealed in Medina to address different even looking can you please put the uh, 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 the chart uh, back again yeah the topic may sound like okay this could have been discussed in Mecca why it is really uh, addressed in Medina and the surah that we are going to discuss first at Taghabun in fact at, uh, it's talking about Yawm at Taghabun which is another name of the day of a judgment. But why the idea, and we have discussed the issue of the day of judgment in so many surahs revealed in Mecca, but now we are going to see a different approach in Medina to an issue that was discussed before, okay? But what is, it's really, uh, uh, and this is a challenge for us, like uh, why it is really being discussed and what is the way and what way it was basically uh, presented really uh, in, 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 uh, in Medina. So uh, again, uh, as you can see that the, the issue of Nifaq, another example, okay, so it's it's uh, it's amazing okay like uh, how just looking at the titles it will give you an idea that most of these issues are really uh, addressing uh, uh, social uh, political economic uh, 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 challenges okay and uh, hope uh, hopefully this will uh, uh, give us a really very uh, 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 precious opportunity, okay, to see uh, see really a different uh, 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 approach, okay, uh, by Quran to these different really issues. Now, another interesting thing about this para, um, four of 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 the surahs, I'm talking about uh, number one, Taghabun, uh, Al Jumu'ah, number two, Al Saf, number three, uh, Al Hashr, number five. So four out of the nine start with, with either Sabbaha Lillah or Yusabbihu Lillah, Tasbih, Subhanallah. Okay? But uh, it, again, the, the, uh, uh, one really wants to ask the question, what is the, really the relationship? Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us that everything in the heaven and earth, okay, are making tasbih to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are uh, uh, acknowledging that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
is beyond error. He is above the mistake. And everything in this universe is uh, uh, um, making sure that no error is being done. No, no, uh, they don't want really like to uh, uh, make any error in appreciating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, appraising him. Okay, so the, um, so the, so what is really the, um, uh, the decision of the human being? The human being who is uh, 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 potentially, okay, uh, um, uh, uh, a creature that can make mistakes. And the mistake or he, the human being is needed with the idea of the error. Okay, so how much we need this tasbih to always be vigilant that we don't want to, to be an outlier in comparison to other creatures in this existence. In other words, okay, do you want to be in harmony with this, with this universe around you? Or you want really like to go against it? and disrupt that unity of this existence. You, you got it? Give you an example. You remember what we said that this universe was founded on the basis of the truth. خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ بِالْحَقِّ Is that right? Uh, uh, can you unmute uh, uh, because I really want to interact <laughs> more yeah, with, with the participants. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So, خلق السماوات والأرض fill in the blank. بال بالحق which means that the heaven and the earth, okay, have been founded on that on truth. that basis, on the truth, and that truth manifested itself. And trust, trustworthiness, the universe always tell you the truth, doesn't lie to you. The universe is, is really highly ethical and has a lot of integrity. It is constant in, 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 in everything it does. And, and so this uh, consistency is, is another manifestation of the truth. And also, the truth manifests itself in the balance that we see and equilibrium that we see everywhere we look at this universe. And so the human, give you an example from Surah As-Saf, which is like number three on our list. It starts like this. سَبَّحَ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ Tasbih. Everything is making tasbih to Allah. Immediately after that, it says, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لِمَ تَقُولُونَ مَا لَا تَفْعَلُونَ Oh, you who believe, what, why are you uh, saying something that you are not acting upon it? You are not translating it into action. لِمَ تَقُولُونَ مَا لَا تَفْعَلُونَ you are not walking the talking, if you like. Why? In other words, I mean, somebody who says something and uh, does something else, can you say that this individual has integrity? No. No. Is that right? So is he, is, is, is this action or this discrepancy between walking and talking? Okay. Is it compatible with the universe or going against the integrity that you see in the universe? No. 
It's against, is that right? Mm -hmm. You see? And this is how I really want you to see the mm -hmm. importance. It's not like it's just like to decorate. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, okay, at the beginning of the surah, Sabbaha lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard. It's not haphazard. Mm -hmm. It's a continuous reminder, okay, that you have the best model and what you see around you. I mean, the, these yeah, abstract yeah, ideas, okay, may take you some time to, uh, in order really to understand them and to think. But what you see is much easier. Just look around you and you see how this universe is acting as one unit. As one unit then you don't see the uh, regardless of the size or regardless of the function all the parts of this universe are acting together in concert okay then you look at the pebble or you look at the mountain and you see them of the same significance although there is a huge difference in the size between the, the mountain and the small pebble. You see, you, you look at the, the mosquito <laughs> and you look at the, the elephant and you see that they are acting in concert. Both are needed, okay? And regardless, and this is why how I understand in Allah, لا يستحي أن يضرب مثلا ما بعوضة فما فوقها. Allah subhanahu wa taala is not shy about bringing an example, the example of the mosquito, or something even smaller than that, because all are important. They they are part of this unity that you see in this existence. And where do you want to be? You want to be part of that unity? Or you want really like to go against it and cause disruption and corruption and mischief? Walid, can I ask yes. you one question? Please, yes. It would be nice to expand if you can. You know, when we, when Allah says, Sabbaha lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard, mm -hmm. Obviously, I mean, I shouldn't say obviously, okay, to my thinking, way of thinking, mm -hmm. for, for instance, the, 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 the trees, the, the nature, the river, the ocean, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they're not saying subhanAllah ta'ala the way we are saying, right? But yes. what they are doing, mm -hmm. they are uh, okay. performing as precisely as Allah has designed them to do. Yes, exactly. For example, the sun... It rises mm -hmm. in the east, goes to the he doesn't disobey Allah. Exactly. Yes. And, and that is his glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is could be That's a the manifestation. Way I would like to yes. Right? And even Quran, even Quran said, Walakin la tafkahuna tasbihahum. You may not understand how they are making that tasbih. Right. You see? Uh, because I mean uh, it's not like us, like you can uh, 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 verbalize that, okay? But look, for example, uh, 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 or uh, uh, at, uh, look at the example of of Prophet Dawood alayhi salam. In more than one place in Quran, Quran said that "Inna sakharna al jibala ma'ahu yusabbihna wa tayr." The mountains and the birds are making tasbih <laughs> along with him. Mm -hmm. Again, what does that really mean to us? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I, you and me, we, we, we cannot really uh, understand the secret of that tasbih. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or the way it is done. What mm -hmm. you mentioned, Brother Noor, is a very good uh, 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 explanation or one way of how these uh, 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 components of the universe manifest, okay, their, their tasbih. 
in, in a functional way and in, in a uh, 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 practical way, if you like. Okay, but there may be other manifestations that we don't, but this is not the issue. Dr. Okay. Fair, the, yes. Can we use the word loyalty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for by all these, but the whole universe? So that's what he is asking us to be loyal, whatever order he has given us, instructions we have in the Quran. If we mm -hmm. follow those, that means we are showing our loyalty and we are consistent to the universe yes this is again this is the whole idea okay you can you can give it different really names or different uh, 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 all these are manifestations different facets okay of of that unity that we are asked to join okay we and and remember that we are different from the other uh, uh, creatures in this universe because we have this duality. We, we can obey and be loyal, as, as you said, the brother uh, uh, Yusuf, or we have the ability to be disloyal and to, 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 to disobey and to rebel, okay? But, okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to show all the creatures that Despite the fact that you are able to rebel, you have made the decision to obey and to be part of that unity in the universe. Okay, so the, the, the again, uh, how okay to see that unity through tasbih, through sujood, through wahi. I mean, these are, I call them universal, universal phenomena because as all creatures join, okay, uh, and, and uh, all uh, th these phenomena apply, uh, these are cosmic phenomena. When you talk about tasbih, everything is making tasbih and we are invited also to be part of that universal phenomena. Everything makes sujood. Walillahi yasjudu man fis samawati wal man fil ard. You see, mm -hmm. sujood also is a common, mm -hmm. is a universal uh, uh, phenomena. And we are asked to, but out of our volition, you see, وَنَفْسٍ You make your own definition. While others have been defined from the beginning, they make tasbih and sujood and, and they cannot go outside that. Mm -hmm. But the human being, okay, when you do it with the ability to do the opposite, it's much stronger. Mm -hmm. You see, that's, that's why... Why, I mean, the human being has a different position in this universe. Strangers. You have the, you have a different status. You, ha, you are responsible about defining yourself. That was not given to the, to the sun or to the moon or to the earth or to the heaven or to the day or to the night. Only the human being. وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا So, can I draw a, uh, yes, I'm sorry. please, uh, go I, ahead. I just want to highlight a contrast uh, uh -huh. between humans and uh, one of the components of nature less than the sun. Allah yes. says, وَالشَّمْسُ لَا لِسْتُمَرْ لِمُسْتَقَرْفِ لَهَا ذَلِكَ تَقْدِيرُ الْعَزِيمِ Allah has <laughs> decreed for his yes. behavior, right? Yes. But he you did see, not decree yeah. the similar way, at least not that as I, I understand. We have mm -hmm. the free, like you said, we have our own volition e to yes. exercise. Right? Exactly. And this is very important distinction. Lash, um, after that, Quran said, لَشَّمْسُ يَنْبَغِي لَهَا أَنْ تُدْرِكَ الْقَمَرِ وَلَا اللَّيْلُ سَابِقٌ لَهَا كُلٌّ فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُ Have you seen the night 
out stripping the, the, the day or coming at an, an at, at, at a different uh, 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 i mean uh, out of its really appointed time no year after year year after year okay depending where you are you see okay the same calendar <laughs> okay uh, but, uh, and the same thing the, the the moon and and the sun each one in its orbit the, yes, they cannot go outside it. Mm-hmm. This is how they were defined from the beginning. While the human being, uh, okay, is going to do that, okay, out of belief, out of a choice, free mm-hmm. choice. This is huge, my dear brothers and sisters. And this is, that will also play a major role in the surah that we are going really, or the first surah, surah at taghabun that we are really going really to discuss. But I hope that I have given you, okay, some background, okay, about the whole para, okay, and uh, the uh, 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 and how the, uh, uh, this uh, these discussions, okay. Uh, uh, I don't know how long it will take this year or probably uh, also the next year. We'll see how uh, how we are, uh, yeah. uh, at what pace we are going. But really, it's uh, the most, most important thing is really like, really to understand mm-hmm. these concepts, okay, and to connect them together so that they constitute a clear vision. You okay. see, I, yes. Can I mention something here? This is offer. Mm-hmm. Even about mosquito has importance. In Earth. Yeah. Similarly, even an ant has an importance because yes, yes. Suleiman was riding a horse. He overheard the ant saying, "We are being." Yeah. So he diverted his route. So he could yeah. even ant has a place in this earth. Yes, exactly. So that that again, this is how I mean. Okay, you you know, and uh, like in Surat An Naml. There is a surah by, I mean, designated the ant or ants. Okay. Surat an naml you see the story of uh, uh, Prophet uh, Sulaiman. And he would really come uh, by uh, uh, a place and there will be a lot of of ants and he starts talking to them. But the, the, the bigger picture here is that w- with, with Sulaiman alayhi salam and his status, not as only a human being, but also a prophet and also a king. Right. <laughs> I mean, who has been given a lot of things under his own command. Humans and jinn and and uh, and uh, animals. I mean, I mean, all were under his control and his sovereignty. But that did not make him, okay, someone who will really look at the ant as something unimportant. You see, but he was really able to connect with the. With a, uh, with a creature as small as the ant. Okay? But he realized like how important what, what he was given. And again, they, like his father, Dawood alayhi salam, in, in a different way, is showing that he should be like his father continue that legacy of how to show themselves, the people around them. And remember, Quran would capture these things because these are everlasting lessons. How to be part, a harmonious component of this universe. To see the value, to see the unity in this existence no matter how far they can be apart from each other, these components, 
However, in their function and their size and their locations, I mean, take it from any perspective, okay? They are, they come together in this unity. And this unity starts from the beginning of the, 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 the creation of this existence till the end. Okay, so every, every time there is a creation, okay, it will reflect the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why we, you, have, you heard me saying over the years that when we talk about tawheed, tawheed, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we look at it as it becomes for you and me a vision. This is how you order things around you. This is how you see things around you. You see the, even the coronavirus. <laughs> Since it is part of this existence, we have to look at it as part of that unity. We need to see how to deal with it, how to tame it, how to tame that virus. The same way you tame a beast, okay? So that, that's, this is how we, this is a different approach. You are not here to make conflicts with the things around you. This is why I said, when we were discussing Surat Al-Hujurat, the unity of the society emanates from the unity in the universe. It's the same vision. <clears throat> Make sense? Yes. yes. Please, please share this with people around you that the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not only acknowledging that he is the only one God. It's has be, it should become the vision by which you see everything in this world as coming together in one unity. No matter how they are different in their locations and their size and their function, okay, all are working together. All the elements. Okay, the air, the 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 the, uh, the energy, uh, the, the the soil. Okay, all the comp the major components they are working together. You see it every day. Yeah. Don't you plant a flower <laughs> yes, yes. in your backyard? Yeah. Don't yeah. you see that the product that you see is really the the. The, the result of the interaction between all these elements together just to produce a small uh, mm -hmm. uh, flower that is going probably to live for a few days. But it is really a good example of how the different components are working together in a highly balanced way. And see what will happen if that balance is disrupted. The flower will not come out. And Allah reminds us that ma amalad aidihim. Yes. <laughs> In other words, you are responsible. This is what makes you and me different. Yes. Okay. Yes. Different yes. not to mean that you are better. Please, please. Yes. Different means that you have a different uh, function, yes. a higher function, how to bring everything together how to protect everything else. You are a trustee on all these things. You see? Khalifa. Deal with it as Khalifa. Again, Dawood alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminded him. After he had, he could not, he did not judge, uh, judge uh, 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 justly between two, two uh, uh, opponents, okay? He reminded him, why you are not following the justice 
this as a manifestation of the truth. Ya Dawood, inna ja'alnaka khalifatan fil ard, fahkum bayna al-nasi bil Judge among the people by the truth. Why? Because wa ma khalaqna as-samaa wal ard wa ma baynahuma batila. The, the heaven and the earth has, have not been created by vain, by the truth. They did, were not created on the basis of falsehood, but they were created on the basis of the truth. Follow that truth, even in your, in, uh, 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 when you are really uh, uh, judging in your own judgment. Follow the truth and the justice in your own judgment. You see the connection? Because yes. you, you have a model, <clears throat> a huge model, beautiful model around you. That's why, Dr. Walid, I was reading Bal's uh, uh, last poem that he wrote before he death, his death. It was mm -hmm. Hazrat Insan. Mm -hmm. You know, a human being. And last yes. sentence, last uh, verse of his poem was, if I am the end of all, then what lies beyond? Where lies the limit of my unending adventures? That's what he said in his last words, uh, you know, addressing humans. Like, basically saying that we are the one, that everything revolves around us. Yes. The entire yes. universe. Yes. It's, it's, we, have, we, are, we are created... <laughs> Humans yes. are created for this universe. Yes. Right. And, and, and again, look at, look, look at your size as a human being. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is my size compared, compared to, the, to the planets around me? Nothing. Nothing. Very minute. Very minute. Very minute. But uh, uh, Iqbal is echoing what Imam Ali radiallahu anhu said long time ago. وَتَحْسَبُ أَنَّكَ جُرْمٌ صَغِيرٌ You think, you're, you are miscalculating. You think that you are a small a creature or a small planet. وَتَحْسَبُ أَنَّكَ جُرْمٌ صَغِيرٌ A very small planet. وَفِيكَنْ طَوَى الْعَالَمُ الْأَكْبَرُ And the whole universe has been Included in you. <laughs> our, our imagination. You saying, yeah, you. I mean, everything is rotating. As lakum ma fi samawati wa ma fi Everything has created for, in the preparation for this human being to come to this existence. How many years it took, of preparation? Five thousand. Millions, millions, millions of years. Billions of years until this universe really became ready for the human being to show up. And you were given all these as resources in order to achieve your, to fulfill our human enterprise. Yes. Our job is and we became the enterprise. Think about it. You see, you are you are tasked to to uh, to uh, uh, fulfill an enterprise. But as you are looking at this enterprise, you realize that this the enterprise is you. You are the target. You, I mean you. In other words, you, you have to realize your humanity in order to fulfill your enterprise on the outside. But everything starts inside you. If the foundation inside you is precarious, are we going to achieve our and fulfill that's the challenge. This is a challenge. And this is why Al Malaika were really suspicious. They have seen what creatures have done on the earth, 
how much corruption and mischief and they 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 were suspicious and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said no you know that you don't know inni a'lamu ma la ta'lamun don't you see here that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala believes in us This is how, oh yeah he, he knows that this human being is capable is capable even us we don't realize that <laughs> yeah this is why when you have a student or a co-worker and you know their their capacity you you know how much they can can put on the table but they are not you say look guy you you can do much better I know you. I know your capabilities. So what, what are, are you doing? Here? You are just reminding them that we believe in you. This is why we yeah. are keeping you. But you have to utilize what you have. Bring what is inside you out. And so it means that this individual has to work on him or herself first. Find out this is the truth. Yeah. If you and don't look at, if you don't study, if you don't get there, give something a and, dedication, and, you're and not yeah. going to find that the truth at all. And who knows? So our job is to doing that one. We have exactly. to do that. Yeah. And who knows more about the truth inside us than us? بل الإنسان على نفسه إنسان. شكيل. You see how Quran. It's talking about a universal issue here that belongs to every human being or applies to every human being. You are conscious of yourself. You have insight. You see, animals in the best, I, that's what I believe. They can be conscious of themselves or the environment surrounding, but they are not conscious about what is inside them and no one, we have not seen any animal coming out telling us what is in there inside them. The only person, the only creature who can does, who can do that is the human being. You, you can tell others what is going inside you. Let's make a different answer from any You know the truth despite the, your ability to put before, I mean, everybody, all the excuses. Basira. So again, the the whole <laughs> a, a, a challenge again before us okay is how to see ourselves as part and parcel of this existence this existence is founded on the truth and is working together working in unison there is a unity that the human being is invited to join by their own volition. Human beings are invited to join that un this united universe. So Surat at taghabun the, the word taghabun was mentioned only one time in Quran. And you see it in verse number nine of this surah. يَوْمَ يَجْمَعُكُمْ لِيَوْمِ الْجَمْعِ ذَلِكَ يَوْمُ التَّغَابٌ Okay. Quran is saying, think of the time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will assemble you. تَغَابٌ Now, what does it really mean, literally, the word taghabun. So you can see that Quran is using this term, okay, to address the day of a judgment, the next 
if you like, the next life, okay? Or the day of a judgment, the day of assembly, okay? Is referred to here as Yawm at Now, at is really uh, when, when you have a transaction, you are selling and buying, okay? Or when people are selling and buying. In every deal, okay, you would expect, okay, the, uh, uh, the deal to be equitable, meaning that both sides feel that when they are exchanging, okay, a merchandise for, let us say, for money, okay, that the, 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 the uh, uh, you are really paying, okay, the right price for that merchandise. And both sides will be happy, okay? You go to, to buy a car and, mm -hmm. okay, you, you pay, let us say, $10,000 for that car and you feel that the, the price is right, okay? Uh, the, uh, um, as a buyer or uh, a, a seller, both sides will, will feel, I mean, happy about that transaction and uh, no one feels that uh, he or she is losing in that really deal. But if I go and like uh, um, sell uh, a house or a car to someone and uh, I feel I felt that, oh my God, it, it's, uh, it's worth 100,000, for example, the house and uh, that uh, 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 buyer only pays me $80,000 for that house. So you, you feel that you are, you have lost. Is that right? It's mm -hmm. not a, the, 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 the right deal you want. You say, in Arabic, they say, مغبون, the, 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 the uh, 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 seller in this situation, okay, feels he or she has lost. So we say maghboon, okay? They have lost, okay, in, in, that, in that deal. So, uh, so from that um, t tangible, okay, if you like, uh, meaning, okay, because transactions are something, okay, it's tangible, can be measured, okay, this house, uh, okay, uh, the, uh, uh, is worth this amount of money, and this is the amount that you would really, plus or minus, that you would uh, uh, really sell uh, the house for. But if the amount is really away from what you have, uh, what it's worth, it, it, re it becomes really a, a, a loss for you. Okay, and this is where uh, the transaction, okay, uh, so there was, Taghaban uh, uh, has happened, where, because Taghaban is really a, 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 an action or, uh, that is taking place between more than one person, two or more, okay, or at least between two people, okay, so, this why uh, the, the, the this type of a transaction was really taghaban where there was a, a gain and but there was really a loss a good transaction where both feel that they have really gained okay they both are happy about the the, the price that was earned and the price that was basically uh, 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 offered and so the, uh, that term was uh, 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 used to apply it to the day of a judgment where, I mean, the, 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 the loss that you see in a transaction in this life appears nothing compared to the loss that may happen in the day of a judgment. You see, so the uh, you don't want, okay, 
to be among the losers in the day of judgment, in the day of assembly. Brother Walid, can you clarify one thing, though? Uh, yeah, please. So when you talked about Taghabun in the worldly sense, you know, we have yes. there's negotiation, there's give and mm -hmm. take. But mm -hmm. on that mm -hmm. day, there's no bartering, there's no negotiation. It's only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he decides what he wants to do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the uh, uh, the idea of take, take from that transaction, okay, uh, that abnormal, if you like, a transaction, mm -hmm. okay, the mm -hmm. idea of loss, mm -hmm. okay, so the, the, uh, and, and the day of a judgment, okay, there will be people who gain and those who really lose. Yes. yes. So the, the idea is really to, uh, you can understand the loss, okay, that on, on a simple in a simple transaction happening in this life okay mm -hmm. just like to bring the idea of loss mm -hmm. closer to our really understanding to our mm -hmm. comprehension okay mm -hmm. like at the beginning of surah al-baqarah quran said ulaika alladhina ashtaraw ad-dalalata bil huda fama rabihat tijaratuhum you see, now, uh, Huda guidance and Dalal misguidance are very abstract concepts. Is that mm -hmm. right? right? But Tijara, okay, where, I mean, like a transaction, mm -hmm. trade, okay, where there is really something that you can measure and, and tangible, there is money and there is merchandise. Mm -hmm. Easy to see it. Okay, that this is not a profitable, okay, uh, deal, not a profitable transaction. When mm -hmm. you are really exchanging guidance by misguidance, what type of, of tijara, <laughs> what type of right. transaction, you see? Right. Right. So again, to, to take <laughs> something that, that uh, again, uh, you are talking, however, people in Mecca, or later in Medina, okay, where they, they send these caravans, and Medina is a very important, really like a, a, a hub, because, I mean, it was also a, 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 a very important, its location, okay, on the uh, trade routes, okay, in, in, in Arabia. So people understand, deals yeah. and the transactions yeah. and the trade okay and they understand the meaning of uh, gaining and losing profiting and and losing so yeah. who are really the the profiters who are the losers is it to, to see them in these uh, transactions mm -hmm. and so look at your life as a, a big transaction do you want to be maghboon? Do you want to be at a loss? No. <laughs> Imam Ali radiallahu an. Again, I, 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 I see in his uh, sayings, where are the key words that he took from Quran? Mm -hmm. He said, Man istawa yawmahu fahuwa maghboon. If you're if your two days are equal, you are at a loss. Mm. Imam Ali wants from us, this is what he learned from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mm. and both learned from Quran, mm. that and you, you have, your, your to, uh, today should be better than your yesterday. Yeah. Tomorrow should be better than today. Yeah. If they are the same, if, right. Even if they are the same, you have you are losing. Right. You are maghboon. <laughs> this is not a good deal. Right. right. This is yeah, not a profitable transaction. You know, very interesting that you bring this up. Uh, the Western world believes this so strongly that we got to be better tomorrow than yes. we are today. No but question in the Islamic about it. world, unfortunately, yeah. they just don't. I mean, unfortunately, this is where, yes. 
And <laughs> Imam <laughs> Ali said it 1400 years. Man yes. istawa yawmahu fa huwa maghboon. Yes, yes. You are at a loss if your two days look the same. In other words, you have not earned something new. You have not learned something new. You have not done something new, right. different from your the day before. Right. Yeah. Now, Hay yes, but one second. Now <clears throat> imagine, okay, take the whole life as a day and the day of a judgment as another day. Mm. <laughs> you see, now uh, you want to be maghboon? Or you want really to invest here in this life to see a better outcome in the yes. in the next life. Obviously. Yawma, yawma. You see, yawma yajma'ukum li yawm al-jam'a thalika yawm al-taghabun. You are, we are going to live for a certain time on this life. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let us call this time yawm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Time. Okay. Mm -hmm. if, if you don't, if you are not investing for that life, you will be among the losers. We will be among the losers. I will be among the losers. Right. You see why it is taghabon? <clears throat> yes. yes. Okay. It's very beautiful, but I mean, it is. It is very advanced, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, way of, uh, of approaching the day of a judgment, okay? Different from the way it was approached in Mecca. Yeah. It is, um, honestly, it is really advanced and, and really taking the whole social structure and the whole dynamic of this a new place, okay? Mm -hmm. And the, the, the approach itself changed. They, and now the, the and the, where, where, I mean, the, where is this word shows up? As we said in verse number nine. Mm -hmm. How, right, and, right in the middle. In the middle. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the surah. Now, uh, Shaquille, brother Shaquille, put, put for us the diagram. If I may add please, something, go ahead. Yeah, okay. please. Uh, going back to Dr. Uh, Brother Noor's, uh, this ayah, what we are re reading, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Allah is clarifying, there won't be any negotiation, negotiation, and all those things are done. We were mm -hmm. given a chance in this world to yes. do what needs to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. But in the next ayah, I mean, that's the gist of it. It's just, yes. the, that's the result. Yes. You, you, you said what I was going to say, honestly. Okay. okay. Because really this is, and, and if you continue, continue, brother Yusuf, verse number 10. This is why I put them together as uh, the center. Walladina Kafaru Kazabu, that's the opposite. Beayatina, Ulaika, Hab Nari Khalidina Fiha, or Besal Nasweer. Okay, you, you see now at Tahabun. Yeah. You see? So even those, those who believed and did the good uh, the, uh, actions, Amanu wa Amilu Salihat, or when Yamal. Salihan, yu'min billahi wa ya'mal salihan. You see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala covered up his sins, his mistakes. Kafara is the opposite of ghafara, or, or to mean ghafara. You see, ghafara is to, to cover, to hide. You got it? Yes. The yes. same way when you say uh, uh, kafara is like the, because al-kafir also means the farmer. What, what does the farmer do? They, they plant the seeds in the soil and then they cover it up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with, with the soil. Is that right? This yes. is why uh, one of the meanings of kafara is to cover. 
kafara, okay? But here, kafara, the, the sins, which means cover, mm. hide their sins. They are not there anymore, like ghafara. Mm. Ghafara also is to cover, okay? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so, so you see how the, how the, uh, uh, how the believers uh, uh, profit even more and the, the discrepancy becomes wider and wider with the opposite the, those who covered the truth and belied the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <clears throat> they will be suffering in hellfire for long time this is the worst outcome while the believers are given the the gardens with the rivers running underneath them beneath them and they are staying forever abada this is the true, the, 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 the great achievement. This is the great victory. Agreed. This is the great success. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Walid, mm -hmm. can you uh, uh, clarify just one? Uh, yeah. This event is preceded by another event that's in another uh -huh. surah where Allah says, in kanat illa sayhatan wahidatan faiza hum jamiun ladaina muhdarun. Can you connect this with Yom al and this ayah that I just uh, recited? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Please. the same thing if you, if you notice, Yawma yajma'ukum li yawm al jama'. The beginning of the ayah number nine, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather, assemble all of you to the day of assembly okay so uh, if, and that will happen by by one uh, 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 call sayha wahida faida hum muhdarun or another place faida hum qiyamun yanzurun so it is it's in body and soul qiyamun you see i mean like like you are standing up, you right. will. Uh, I mean, people are laid in their graves, and they they <laughs> stood up. Stood up, right? And, and it's very beautiful. Yawma yeah. not only to gather you together, but also gather you individually, mm -hmm. because we are parts that we have really disappeared in the soil. Where we have been buried, is that right? Right, right. Like when we start, we 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 have been lost, <laughs> as mm. our bodies are lost mm. in the soil, in the earth. Mm. Okay, you need the one who will bring them together also. Mm -hmm. So yawma yajma'ukum to gather you together as individuals and then gather us together in groups and mm. an assembly so mm. it's beautiful how the same word okay mm. at, had taken two levels or even more mm. so yajma'ukum like each one yeah. bringing together all our parts so that we we we, we come back again to life and also we are not going to be gathered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will gather all of us in one assembly mm. yajma'ukum that happens okay following this sayha that you were talking about from surah yaseen yeah. mm. they mm. are present mm. okay present in, in all their their dimensions, not only physical, but mentally, emotionally, uh, uh, in, in our own imaginations, in our taste, and, and all our dimensions, we will be present again.
Mm-hmm. Make sense? Uh, now, it, it, it does. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I was just wondering uh, mm-hmm. if there's a hadith which explains the process that takes place. Like in the grave, you know, our body disappeared with the soil. Mm-hmm. The soul, the nafs was with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He, he reconstituted, put them back to, back together again. Mm-hmm. And when the uh, then we, we, we will wake up from the, the graves. Mm-hmm. And then when the, Allah says, in kanat illa sayhatan wahidatun, faizahum jamiun ladayna muhdarun. So mm-hmm. when all this process is taking place, is there any hadith that explains? No, I mean, I mean, the Quran itself is clear about it. Okay, mm-hmm. that that there will be like uh, 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 two calls. Okay, yes. The first one to uh, 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 indicate the inauguration of of the day of judgment. Mm-hmm. Okay, Okay, mm-hmm. And the following verse is ثم نفخ فيه أخرى. So the first one is really like to uh, to indicate that this is uh, uh, the uh, the beginning of the day of a judgment, and then there will be another call, okay, mm-hmm. for and then everybody will come out, okay, into that assembly. Mm. Uh, okay. Also, Allah Himself says that wa iza nufiqa suri fa iza min al ajdas ila rabbihim yansilun. Yes, yeah. Right? Again, uh, they are moving. Okay, yeah. all of them in one assembly. Again, okay. you see, uh, 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 it's beautiful that uh, you are bringing really these uh, verses, and mm. then you can connect among them. To, to 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 make a a, a full uh, uh, picture mm. you mm. see what I mean like mm. okay but all are like uh, heading in the same direction that uh, uh, with detail small details here and there but if you put them together okay mm. they will lead you to 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 see the full scene okay which is really, the assembly. I, I want like to make a request yeah. to you, Brother Walid, if you don't mind, in one of these yeah. lectures, mm-hmm. if you would take the time to put together mm-hmm. is the, the scenario as Allah describes in the Quran. I'm not talking yes, about yes, 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 so yes. That'll be so beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, be, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. But but you see that the, the uh, that will be really like. A, a little, I mean, a different, a, a topic by itself. So, okay, right. yeah. I but I, I, what we were are trying to see what is the uh, relevance of this to the uh, to the surah that we are really discussing. Right. Like in this surah, mm-hmm. okay, we are seeing number nine and ten to the best of of of, our, of my knowledge. Okay, mm-hmm. that probably the, the and the fact that they are in the middle of the surah, you see the 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 word taghabun, which was used to to designate the whole surah to be the title of the surah. Mm. It, it it gives me the 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 clue, if you like, that this most likely is really the the central theme of the surah. Mm. But again, the central theme. Although it was discussed before, but uh, let us see, uh, 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 not not uh, today, but through our discussions, uh, subsequent discussions, mm-hmm. how that central theme, okay, is used, okay, to to um, uh, uh, discuss other issues, okay, that face the new society. In, um, uh, in Medina. Uh, let me just give you a, a small hint and inshallah we'll be, uh, I mean, talking in more details about that. Yeah. The way I see it is that the 
the the belief okay uh, or or uh, in in mecca the people were basically uh, called upon uh, to uh, to the new message and it was it was definitely up to each individual to accept or not is that right mm -hmm. and that continues okay okay to, uh, to you you will uh, I, i mean accept by your uh, by your free choice okay uh, to to believe or or not to believe to accept the new message or not to accept the new message mm -hmm. but in medina it's uh, things became different it's what are the impl social implications of your belief okay uh, 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 you 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 it is not only uh, uh, enough to say okay i i believe and it was not enough just to say okay i am part of 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 uh, 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 I, I believe or I belong to to the new message, okay, and I am affiliating myself with the new message. There are implications, mm -hmm. and there are issues that may happen that may become obstacles preventing you not preventing you to believe, okay, mm -hmm. but preventing you of of uh, of the implications of that belief the social implications of that belief the political uh, implications of that belief the economic <laughs> implications of that belief mm -hmm. you see this is what we are going mm -hmm. inshallah to and that will give us a a new way of looking even at the issue of gaining and losing okay in this life and in the hereafter compared to that same uh, i mean a concept like discussed in 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 uh, uh, in uh, during the meccan period brother kamal I has a question. question yeah go ahead go ahead brother and kamal uh, i was thinking uh, right now is always like this time or last time and doesn't matter any life any world any any country like People as always say that shahada. You say I'm Muslim. That's okay. Mm -hmm. But that he said I. He said the shahada. He's okay. He found the job. You get married. He just that he's continue his life. Mm -hmm. But he paused that part. Part he is just the believer. As when you say the gain and loss, one other side of the guy he's like a something scientific, scientifical, intelligent guy. He's using, he's studying, he's doing something. For humanity, the better life. Mm -hmm. Keep mm -hmm. studying, keep studying. This guy and the other guys is get take the shahada. He is a Muslim. He passed his life. It, it's not the same for the scientific guy. Yes, yes. You see, this that's is the, the, yeah, the gain. Yeah. Is the damn thing that they gain. The, who's the loser yeah. then when you gain and lose? That means yeah. if you pass yourself, you lose. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And this is why we are saying that becomes really taghabun. Okay, like you, you, you become maghbun, you because you are not building on on that belief. Okay, and there are implications not only towards yourself but to you or you to your fellow citizens. Okay, and this and 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 and, and you see that and I, I again you will see how really important. Okay, to to see that. Okay. Uh, 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 the, the, uh, how to to uh, to uh, adopt the, the 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 issues of your society, the problems of your own society, how well, to advance your own society. When I look at the one, uh, even I'm from Turkey, and that should not. When be, I look at the people, like they say, yeah. oh, okay, I mm -hmm. have a I have a good person, I have a job, all those things. Then they go look like they are going shopping. I want to go to Mecca. I gonna go to Hajj. I gonna go to Umrah. Is doing it. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah. says that oh, they are just like a shopping. You go in the mall to get it. They're like 
for future life, they want to get their buy the Jenna or whatever they got. Mm-hmm. I don't, when I try to tell them, say, this is not the like you're sitting on the whole watching TV all day alone and just go the one time with Mecca or Haji, and God's not going to look at you the what you gain you have. Mm-hmm. I cannot yeah. criticize, but, but when I look at this one, his whole pause entire life that the guy is like, after retired, is not doing nothing. Yeah. 20 years, he's sitting so on the cafe, yes. he's playing a game yes. all day alone. Yes. I said, this is not why. Yes. When and I this is them, why get mad yeah. at me. And in fact, the, 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 the uh, the, the sur- this surah and the others that we are going to discuss in, in this para, okay, and, and honestly addresses that important, this disconnect that you are talking about, brother, brother Jamal, what you are saying, there is a disconnect, okay, that you, uh, and, and I think you are describing it very beautifully, that someone, as if like saying, okay, uh, instead of asking what are really the implications, the personal and the social implications of that. Okay, what I am supposed really to do next, how we, I can advance my day, okay? And, and also to, uh, to uh, 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 so this, the, there is this, they stop there. They this are disconnecting that belief from the implications that we are going to talk about, okay? And and the 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 uh, the, the surah in particular, uh, this surah in particular will be discussing issues that may become an obstacle, okay? In other words, uh, why this person that Brother Jamal is describing? Why? What are the obstacles? I am not here to judge that person and tell him, okay, that you have stopped there and you are not advancing. And no, no, I want to understand what are the issues, what are the problems that are hindering that individual from going forward, from increasing his gains. And how to protect him from losing in that transaction? You see, this is where we are going to focus. Many times, really, we are very good at describing the problems and 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 uh, that is that are happening in 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 our world, in our countries, in our governments. Okay, but I'm uh, sometimes I say to myself, we are sick of of uh, giving. We know this. We know that we have a problem. Give me a solution. Give me some suggestions. How I can come out from this? How can I help myself and help the people around me to come out of this? And this is what we are going to. So what are the things that hinder us from or, or putting us in that disconnect? that are disconnecting between our belief and what that belief should imply. There are really a lot of uh, uh, responsibilities. A lot of actions need to be taken in order really like to to really uh, gain this life and the other life. And believe me, I have said it before, and I I will say it with, uh, 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 I mean, big deal of confidence that if we fail here, I I don't know how are we going to win in the here in the in the next life. Yeah, I mean, we just when you look at that on you, I'm serious. That people is failing; they are not doing nothing. Mm-hmm. Not even thinking. They are not using intelligence. They are not mm-hmm. using their mind at all. When I say, I said, but why brother, are you not doing anything? Brother Jamal, yeah, brother Jamal, here, here is what I am really focusing on, and I want all of us to focus on and see how Quran can help us in that. Uh, and uh, I want to move from really. We know the problem. But I want to know what is causing that a problem so that I can help people be capable of coming out of it. 
okay, how to uh, regain that connection between believing, okay, and the implications of that belief, the social, the economic, the political, the financial, all these things that, I mean, each surah is going really to address one, one aspect of it. But the, as you can see, the, 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 uh, the, the common thing among all what we are going to discuss is how to restore the unity with the universe and how to restore the unity between this life and the next life. Till now, we are really looking at these two lives as separated. And Quran is talking, it is one transaction. This is why Quran is taking what you are doing here and applying the same term to the day, he will call it the day of Taghabun. You see, <clears throat> unless we see, restore that unity, okay? Till today, we are still saying, oh, I am, like Jamal was saying, okay, I am now going to Hajj, oh, this is for next life. But then comes back as if there is no connection. Nothing. Nothing. Wait, you, see, uh, you see? Until you're dead. But uh, you see where, where is the problem? Okay. You, you are saying that how they stop their life, okay? They and, look like disconnected with life, event. like regular life, yeah. They disconnect yeah. themselves. Disconnect, everything. yeah. So but like, I, I'm I, done over here because I'm done. So, not, you're not so, done. so yeah. let the surah help us to see how we can restore that unity with the okay, universe, we, with between this life and the next life. But as the way we saw it in Surah al hujurat how to bring the unity among the people. And now you can see how you, uh, uh, Tawheed or the unity of Allah, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has really become a vision that includes how to unite between the people, how to unite uh, 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 among uh, or between the, the, this life and the next life, how to unite between us and the rest of, of this existence, of this universe, okay? So this is really, again, what the vision that we are really talking about.